Greetings dear students. In this video we will talk about how to input data using Python. Now we can input data in Python using input statement. So let us go to the input statement now. Now we can use the input statement to read a text or strings from the user. And the syntax for the same is input and then we have to give the prompt where prompt is the string which is displayed on the screen and this prompt is optional. So during execution the input statement shows the prompt to the user to input a value from the keyboard and when the user enters the value from the keyboard input statement returns this value which is usually stored in a variable. So let us understand it with the help of an example. So my example is suppose I have given name equal to input and then within double quotes I am giving what is your name. So here what is your name is a prompt. So when I press enter so it will display first what is your name and then suppose I have entered Raman here. So Raman it the input statement will return this uh, uh, string Raman which will be stored in the variable name. So after the execution of the statement the variable name will refer to Raman. Now let us suppose I want to input numeric data using input statement. So how can I do that? Now to input numeric data using input function we can use typecasting. That is we have to change the data type using function. So this can be done with the help of functions int, float and eval. The string data which is accepted from the user with the help of input statement is converted to appropriate numeric data type which can be int float and eval function is also used to convert it to numeric data type. So let us understand it with the help of examples. So int and float functions they take a number expression and string as an argument and they return the corresponding integer and float value respectively. So let us suppose I have given the statement y equal to int and then within parenthesis input enter your marks. So the input statement is executed first. So it will display the prompt enter your marks and suppose I have entered 98 using the keyboard. So it will return input statement will return 98 as a string. And now int function will convert 98 to, uh, to an integer and which will then be uh, referred to by the variable y. So ultimately the data entered by the user is converted from string to integer and then it is assigned to y. That is y will now refer to 98. So let us see one example in a python shell. So suppose I give user equal to input and then I am giving enter your suppose id. So you see the prompt has appeared on the screen enter your id. Now suppose I am entering a123 as my id. So this a123 will be stored in user. So if I say print user so you can say the value of user is a123. That is user is a variable which is referring to the value a123. So similarly if I give I want to have an integer uh, input. So I am saying suppose uh, k equal to int input enter your Rule number and then one more parenthesis to close the int brace. So you can see uh, I have given uh, enter your rule number. So this prompt will appear here and suppose I am entering 10 as my rule number. So 10 will be uh, returned by input statement as a string which will be then converted to int and stored in k. So if I say print k you can see 10 will be displayed. So this is how it works. So let us see a few more examples. 
If the string con argument contains any character other than leading plus or minus sign or digits, then int and float functions will result in an errors. So let us see if I give int and then within single quotes, I am giving 45 into 2. So this will result in an error because I can only have a number with leading plus or minus sign. And uh, then uh, um, uh, this symbol is not allowed, star symbol. Again, if I say float and then within quotes, if I say 78 slash 5 plus 3. So again, this is invalid because slash and plus are not allowed. I can only have char uh, characters can only have uh, sign and digits with uh, which the sign can be plus or minus. You cannot have any other symbol other than the leading plus or minus sign or digits. So if no arguments is uh, passed, int statement returns 0 and float returns 0, 0.0. So let us check it in a Python shell. So if I give int and suppose I am giving an expression 12 slash 23 and then plus 4 and then sorry it has to be enclosed in quotes because I am converting string expression to number. So if I give it like this we can see we are, I am getting an error. I can only write like this then it will convert the string to number. If I give this so it is giving, it is returning minus 10. It will convert the string minus 10 to number. So this is how it actually works. Now let us talk about eval function. Eval function also takes string as an argument. It evaluates the string as a number, which can be either integer or float and returns the numeric result. So let us see how. Let us take an example. I have written a small Python script here. Maths equal to eval. And then within parenthesis, I'm giving input statement, input, enter marks in maths. Then English equal to eval, input, enter marks in English. Science equal to eval, input, enter marks in science. And then suppose I want to calculate the total of all the marks and then print the total. So my statement will be total equal to maths plus English plus science. And then I'm using the print statement, print within double quotes, total equal to comma total. Then this is the total variable and this total is a string. So when I do this, so the this, uh, eval statement will convert all the input to uh, numbers or floats. Flo it can be integer or float and store in the respective variables. So math will refer to the number which I have entered as marks in maths. English will refer to the number which I have entered uh, through keyboard for English and science will refer to the marks which I have stored through key keyboard uh, for science. Then total will calculate the total of this and print statement will print the total. An evil statement will also result in an error if the given argument is not a string or if it cannot be evaluated as a number. So if I say eval and then within quotes, if I'm writing rule number one, now this cannot be evaluated as a number. So this will result in an error. So let us try this eval function uh, in the Python shell. So I will write a small Python script. So this is my Python source file. So I will write, suppose the same script, English equal to eval and then input enter English marks and then math equal to eval and input enter math marks and then science equal to eval input enter science marks and then I'm calculating the total of all these marks so total equal to English plus math plus science and then let me print the total print total equal to total so this is my Python script 
So let me first save it before I can run it. So I'm saving it by the name suppose exam. So let me run it now. So if I run it, you can see the first message is in enter English marks because the my first statement is input enter English marks. So suppose I've entered suppose 90 here. So when I press enter, the next statement again is an input statement in which I want to input math marks. So it is displaying the prompt enter math marks. Suppose I have entered 98. Now the again next statement is an input statement where the prompt is enter science marks. So I will enter the science marks suppose 89. So you can see the next statement is total is equal to English plus math plus science. So it will calculate the total of all the three marks and then the print statement is total equal to total. So you can see total equal to is a message which is displayed as it is. And when I say total, so it will display the value which is referred to by the variable total and the value is 277. So you can see the total has been displayed here. So this is how it works. Eval function is converting all these strings because the, you know, uh, the input statement returns only the uh, string. It never returns an integer or float value. So the function of eval function is to convert these strings to integer or float values and then they can be used for the calculations. Otherwise, if it is a string, this will work as a concatenation operator. You won't be able to add these numbers. So it is very important to convert the uh, result of input statement into numbers before we can use them in calculation. So let us try one more thing here. Suppose uh, uh, this time I am not using the eval function to convert string to number. So let us see what will happen. Suppose I am giving English equal to input enter English marks and uh, then I am giving math equal to input enter math marks and then I am saying total equal to English plus math and then I am saying print total equal to total. So there is a small difference in this program. I haven't used the eval functions or any of the int or float function. So let us see the output of this program now. So let me save it first. Save as suppose exam 1. Suppose now I will run it. So again, the first statement is to input English marks. So suppose again, I have entered 90 here. And uh, maths marks, suppose uh, 95. So you can see the output here. Now the total, it is treating both English and marks math as the strings. Because in the result of input statement is a string. So whatever number I am entering here, they are treated as string. So when I say English plus math, here plus sign is acting as a concatenation operator. That is, it is used to join two strings. So if the first string contains 90 as the value and math contains 95 as the value, so it is simply concatenating them. That is, it is adding them. So it will become 90, 95. So when I print the total, it is giving me the answer 90, 95. So you can see the difference. When I am using the eval function, it is converting them to their numbers, numeric their digits. So I am getting the proper output. But if I do not use any of these functions, eval, int or float, so it will work as a concatenation. It will add, it will not convert these strings to numbers and my results will be wrong. So it is very important if I want to input numbers using input statement, they have to be first converted into uh, numbers using int, float or eval functions. So this is all for this video. If you like this video, kindly give thumbs up and please subscribe to my YouTube channel Learning Simplified. Thank you.